Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stash Club Wrestling. My name is John. My name is Dante. And today, in honor of Raw Triple X, and to other people, it would be known as Raw 30 if you're a Roman numerals type of person. Today, we are doing the Raw 30th anniversary. Yes, quiz. sir. A lot of very, uh, very requested. A lot of people are asking. Very request, us requesting. If there's anything that we do, we're here to serve the people. That's right. Off the bat, before we start, real quick, just R.I.P. J. Briscoe, R.I.P. J. Briscoe. Sophie, could you read us the email, please? Absolutely. Uh, hey, guys. So with this Monday Night Raw's 30th anniversary coming up, I think it would be the perfect time to do a Monday Night Raw quiz. This will be the usual 15 questions plus a bonus question. That's from Matthew. 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 Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. If you want to send in the quiz, scwquiz at gmail.com. With that said, I'm ready to get started. Also, what's up? If you want to follow us on Twitter and Ooh, Instagram, because nice we're plug. on there nice now. Nice plug. Uh, Stash Club W on both of the accounts. We're just going to be posting, you know, all types of wrestling content. You all can sorts. It's a bullshit. Um, listen to our podcast, podcast platforms, like, subscribe, notification bells. Sophie, let's get this thing going. Right, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, let's do it. Right. I'm excited for this. I'm not. All right, number one. Who has the most matches in Monday Night Raw history? Oh, so it's this type of quiz. Okay. Um, okay. So who's been around for a long time? Ruthless Aggression, I would imagine, guy. There's one guy that comes to my mind, but... Because you have to think about the brand split stuff. So, like, some guy was on SmackDown for a long time. And some guy was exclusively on Raw. There's two of them. There's one guy I have in my bounce. It's not him. There's, there's also another one in my There's mind. two I have um, instantly. But there's one guy that's taken less time off. I'm going longevity on this one. If it ain't him, it's a good guess. 31. Randy Orton. R-K-O. Randy Killer Orton. Randy Killer Orton. This is his middle name. That's correct. Yes, let's go. Because I initially thought Undertaker. But well, he's I was thinking on, John Cena. John Cena was the other guy oh. I was thinking of. I was thinking Randy, John, Undertaker, Edge. But Edge retired. John oh, Cena. Oh, Edge didn't really cross my mind. Yeah, hmm. Undertaker is on SmackDown. So, all right, good start. What was the Monday Night Raw theme song from 2003 to 2006? Hmm, so we, oh, okay. Oh, I don't know the name. I know the song. Um, you get the gun. <laughs> what is that called? I don't know. I like the. You know what? You know what? My I like. I like to be loved. That's my favorite. I want to be loved. I just, just want to be. Want to be loved. loved. Yeah, that's, like, that's Papa Roach. I think that's Papa Roach. That's, that was who I was gonna put for this one. Thinking it, was the same. it might be the same. I don't think it might, it's the same. No, I don't think it, it sounds. That doesn't. Get the god. We know the song. Uh, this is our quiz. We'll give our. You know that? No. I'm oh, sorry. I thought like popped in your head. No, it's a oh, guess. Okay. Literally, like they put out a um, WWE made it the raw intro with this song that's yeah. that's the only reason i remember it because i saw on twitter and there it was fucking sick, sick. i didn't know w sick. I, I didn't crazy that wwe did that that seems yeah. like something like a fan would and do. they don't do it anymore mm -hmm. for some reason three to one i said domination i i just i put some of the lyrics and then papa roach <laughs> <laughs> it's called across the nation across the nation who's it, who's it by? Who's um, by? i can look it up domination across the nation oh, yeah, something because we sang it i'm giving this to us uh the union underground do we? You know what? We sang it. it. We sang okay. it. We, yeah. it. we yeah. know what the that's song fair. is. That's fine. We knew the song. Yeah. I mean, come on. You that's I don't know, really know. I know it goes, you get the gods. Yeah, the you get the, what is it? <laughs> I don't you know what it is. the gods, the glory. You I don't guys know. really I do know this. Could be you wrong. That's a great God, theme song. The How, do they even say Across the Nation in the intro? They might not even say it. Oh, okay. We'll give ourselves that one. <laughs> All righty, number three. What year did Monday Night Raw officially go to three hours every week? Ooh. Mm, that's a good question. I thought it was me when it started. Ooh, okay. I have a ball. I have, damn, two years in mind. It was, it's going to be earlier than we think. Mm, maybe. I don't know. I'm not convinced. Yeah, no. he's, like, he's like, no. I don't know. 1998. <laughs> no. Um, you get the God. <laughs> That's gonna be stuck in my head. When I drive home, I'm just gonna have that on loop the entire time. Three to one. 2010. 2009. That's why I had written down it originally. 2012. Oh! Wow! 2012. I was oh, thinking, shit. Oh, you know what? We were in the 2000s. So I'll you know what? <laughs> I think we deserve this one. Dang, I had 09 originally. I, originally I thought started. I nailed it with 09. Dang, Damn. I was 09 or 2010. All right, 2012. 10 years of three hours. Jesus. Trash. Number four. What segment is considered to have the highest viewership in Raw history at a whopping 8.1 million viewers? Okay, hold on. What Repeat segment? that segment? Yes. So now. Does that just mean like, oh, like this promo? A match or a segment? Oh, 
of all it's, oh fuck is it a match time? or is it a segment it, can, can, it seems like a segment based off of a person okay okay no i know i know the answer then so not um, like it's not like a match yes okay for viewers <laughs> youtube views what is that what are these views coming no, from? no i think it's like um like um, tv views tv views like 8.1 million people watched it at that time or i think whatever the number is interesting i think oh, i have shit. it right i think i have it right i think i have it whoa you have to think when were they pulling these numbers out nothing recent no one gets 8 million views on TV nowadays unless you're like football or I can't even think of what else it would oh, but I'm not even thinking of like the This is over 30 years. Yeah, I, don't I know. Fucking yeah, no. That, Fuck the... it. I'm sticking with my guns. Okay. 3 to 1. It's a segment between The Rock and Mick Foley. This is your life. This is my I life. Put CM Punk pipe bomb. It is uh The Rock this is your life. Wow, nice. It's, yeah, it was uh, Damn. Cuz I originally thought when mankind won the championship because mm -hmm. that was like a huge thing or this that's why i wanted to clarify wow the match. see some of these questions are going to be crazy because like you have to think like it could happen 30 years exactly. ago it could happen there's five a, years ago a big, oh my a god wide range wide wow range. already number five yes five speaking of the this is your life segment in 2017 <laughs> it would be redone by two wrestlers and it would be considered one of the worst segments in raw history yeah. which two wrestlers were in that segment uh, hold on, give me a I think I, I think I have this. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Three to one. Bailey and Alexa Bliss. Bailey and Alexa. Correct. Oh, thank fucking God. <laughs> yeah, that was an awful segment. Like, it was Bailey doing it on Alexa's life, right? Or was it the other way around? I forget. Maybe no, it was I Alexa it was doing it. I think it was the other way around. Yeah. yeah, I think it was. Mm. Number six. In February 2011, WWE would have a mini Royal Rumble called the Raw Rumble. Raw Rumble, where the winner would face The Miz for his WWE Championship at the Elimination Chamber. Who won that match? 2011, you said? Yes. I don't know. I don't even remember this Raw. Do you remember the Raw Rumble? Do you remember like this happening? I don't remember this Maybe at all. Maybe vaguely. The only thing I remember is I'm trying the Miz to, having the championship. I'm trying to think 2000. All right. So that was that mania. Okay. Who faced him at Elimination, at elimination chamber. chamber? The Miz won this match, I think. Yeah, I would assume I'm so. I'm thinking the Miz right. won this match. This is obscure. Um, Damn. I don't, oh, man. I don't know. Three to one. I said Randy. I said Dolph Ziggler. Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, they had... Mm. He won the Rumble? I know they had Damn. a thing going on, but I didn't know he won that. Well, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, no. Okay. Not at all. All right. Uh, number seven. What is the longest match in Raw history? Hint. The time is, uh, I want to say it's 106 minutes and 55 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. Shawn Michaels and Cena. Agreed. Um, it is Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns versus John Cena versus uh, Elias. The Gauntlet. That's right. The versus Finn Balor versus Braun Stro Strowman Strowman versus The Miz in a Gauntlet match. That's so right. That's so right. I mean, I guess technically that's the longest match, but because because there's so many fucking people yeah. restarting. Yeah. God damn it. Come on, bro. We, I mean, we were both on the money with our guess. If it was like singles match, I mean, obviously we would have got it right if it yes, was singles for match. Sure. God damn it. That literally must be just like that record must only be by a few minutes because that Michael John Cena match was well it was over an hour yeah that's like what it's built up at God damn it I thought yeah I thought we nailed that yeah. one Oof. I, I can't let that affect me the rest of the quiz I gotta I gotta wake up I gotta shake off the cobwebs I gotta wake up it's, it's <laughs> almost one p.m. I gotta, take, I gotta take my medication <laughs> All right number eight How many episodes of Raw have there been as of December tenth twenty twenty two No closest bro. to the number wins Okay well so okay. if they're doing Let's do some so if the raw 30 anniversary is up it's coming up that means probably like 28 or 29 episodes all right so we have to all right, we're gonna help each other out here this is two <laughs> weeks in a year times <laughs> we gotta do some math here fuck what's 52 times 30 <laughs> basically <laughs> i'm trying to it's figure out but it's also no, by, it'd be december it's it'd by be, december 10th whatever you yeah. said yeah all right. Four. Okay. Um, uh, this, <laughs> this is so funny. stupid. This is so stupid. This is so no, dumb. No, I'm just having fun with this. Like, I don't know. It's closest wins, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay. I was going to say, neither of us. So if you get it on the dot, we're going to be doing some stuff behind the scenes. That would be nuts if you got this. I think I got it. I think I got it on the dot. Yeah. On the <laughs> dot. I think I got it on the dot. Yeah. yeah. Feeling good? Right. Three, two, one. I'm saying 1,512. 15,183. Did I do the math wrong? I did the math wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 1,541. Okay, that's pretty close. Okay. So I, I added an extra zero in my multiplication. <laughs> yeah. I, added, I wouldn't have been able I to did, do I did 20 Maybe 15,000 episodes of WWE. No, I don't think that's even accurate. That's a lot. 
That's a lot of episodes. God, I feel like a fucking That's idiot. That's hey, all right. If you took away the... Honestly, if you took that away, you would have won. If you had 15, oh, 1,516. I wish I could... <laughs> it's true. You would have won. wish I could take that answer back. <laughs> all right. Holy, all right. Reset. Holy shit. Re-record. Re-record. Mm-hmm. It's all right. <laughs> Added math zero. is hard, dude. I, I, I was trying to do the math in my head. I gave up. I'm just... I'm right yeah. now. Well, at I'm least we both that. landed at 1,500 mm-hmm. or 15. Well, we were, I added a zero, but... to what you know people what I mean? are going to say we were in the ballpark. We are in the ballpark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll I guess. take the point for it. I'll take no, the point. Absolutely. All right. Number nine. What year did Raw debut? Oh, well, okay. 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 Wait a minute. <laughs> we ran into this before, John. <laughs> to our loyal, uh, I'll say it when, when, we, when we give this. To our loyal fans, they, they would remember this. Because <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> yep. Hmm. How do you do math here? Long division? <laughs> I haven't done okay, that. Okay, you need one over, and then that's the 10, because you got to get there. Yep, absolutely. Nine, nine, 12. 12. So you bring so the three down. Three. Nine. nine. I can do it. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, that's what you, I wait for yeah, you to no. do it. I wait for you to do it. <laughs> three, two, one. Nineteen. I put 2004. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 93. 1993. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, what I was All say, that math. <laughs> what I was going to say is the Randy Orton, we did the 20th anniversary. No, I know. Yes, I know. <laughs> like, when did Randy Orton debut? How many years ago? 19 years yeah, ago. But... <laughs> All right, 6'4". Six, 6'4", four. Six, four, not bad. You get guts. You got the guts, the glory. I think, I think To Be Loved is a better song. To Be Loved to be is honest. a great song. I that Nickelback wanna, burned wanna to the ground loved. for a little bit. Burned that wasn't, that wasn't yeah. as good, but that was okay. I think that was their last, like, okay one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. the last few years. Because now it's just, like, some generic, just, like, if you, pop rap song or you something. you asked me to name you what the oh, theme songs dude, I have, are, no I couldn't even I'd, tell you like, what it sounds like. Could like, I tell yeah, you I don't know. artist song wouldn't mm-hmm. have an answer for you? The weekend, fourth fourth year in a row, WrestleMania theme song. Why not? Isn't that crazy? Makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. He's a star. I saw a tweet that said, Flo Rida is pissed. Bro, you, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, hey, I mean, either that streak's been broken or it's coming <laughs> up because Flo Rida was a, was a big part of WWE for a while. What Hall of Famer won the first main event in Raw history? Ooh, Hall of Famer. And there's no answer to it in the email. They just mm. put the question. Yeah. So I'm, obviously it's Hall of Famer now, not back Yeah, that, that was no kind of confusing me. Um, okay, well, there's only a few people that I can really... Think of who... Right, so well, you have to think of wrestlers who were wrestling in 2004. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's right, because that's when Raw started. That's when Raw started. I don't fucking know. Uh, I have someone... Else. I have another good guess, but this is a safe bet. Um, you know you know, you know what? I'm going to go with my strange answer. I, I want to be quirky. Three to one. Put Razor Ramon. Put Million Dollar Man. All right, after looking it up, the answer is actually The Undertaker. Okay. I took a lot of Google on it. Yeah, I took a lot yeah, of Google. I took a yeah, lot of Google on yeah, it. Why... People aren't going to see the five minutes of footage. <laughs> it up. Um, yeah, I had Undertaker originally, but I wanted to be different, so I picked Razor. So <laughs> mm. it's all right. Now right. we know. Mm. Now we know. Her. Razor Ramon was on the show. He was. Yeah, was on the show at a segment that we know of, yeah. apparently. <laughs> we know everything about the first show. Now. <laughs> what was the first pick for Raw in the first ever WWE draft? Oh, Raw. I know the SmackDown pick. Um, I know the SmackDown pick. Who is Raw? Unless, I think I have it. Unless, like, they did the, they only did the drafts in our time. Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. This was, I think, 04 or, like, 03 was when they did it. Ah. 3 to 1. Triple H. John Cena. Also happens to be the Undertaker. Oh, motherfucker! Oh, the f- Dang, the Undertaker, because The Rock was, was the first pick for SmackDown. I thought, I thought that's when they did the the John Cena yes, Batista I think swap. That was, that was probably like later, the second or third yeah. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn, who'd you put? I put the Triple H. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, good guess. Number twelve. What was the main event of Raw One Thousand? Ooh. I remember. Jeez. I mean, who remembers fourteen thousand episodes ago? <laughs> I remember that show. I don't remember. I, don't. I remember like it being a thing. I couldn't tell you. I don't know if that was the main event though. Um, I'm not gonna get. I'm this, gonna get a, this match fuck. definitely happened. Oh no no no! All right, I almost shot myself in the foot. Hold on. Three to one. John Cena versus CM Punk. Oh, was it? I put John Cena and Bret Hart versus. I didn't know who the other team was. The Miz and someone. I don't know. It's John Cena versus CM Punk Whoa. for the WWE Championship. Yeah, because he. Wow. Ca- that was when he cashed in his Money in the Bank. It was like a. He announced it like the week before. And he then did that, that on Raw and 1000. Then, um, Holy shit! The Big Show turned on. He interrupted the match, stopped the match, and The Rock came out, and that's when CM Punk turned heel on The Rock. Oh, that. I thought that was middle of the show, so I didn't. Even th- I didn't know that so was the main. The event. Rock came out on Raw 1000. It might come out on Raw 30. I don't know. Whoa. Who knows? Who knows? Number 13. How many cash-ins have happened on an episode of Raw? Uh, one Bonus- that we know of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bonus points if you can name everybody who cashed in. Note: One of these is, is due to a technicality. 
Right. We're not doing the names. There's, no, no, we're just we'll just, just a number of cash. I'm gonna ins. write down names, but like that's for me to sure. think. How many people have cashed in? I'm trying to go in like order. Damn. Um, do you have a number written down? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's about as much as it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh no 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 no. See that? See, I'm trying to think of all of them right now. I'm not trying to take up too much time, but not, ones hey. keep coming in my mind. Seems like he's writing an awful lot more than the number because I have. Because now, because <laughs> now we have to think of like the woman's money in the bank too. <sighs> I didn't think about that. Oops. Um, I'm sticking with my gut. Go with my gut. All right. I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna put down my last number. It's gonna be one more than I have written down because I'm just thinking I missed one. Sure. All right. Three to one. Eight. Four. Nine. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> if I had more time, I may have been able to get all of them, but that was that was a lot. Damn. Dang. All right, 14. This is a fill in the blank. Okay. Oh, <laughs> fun. That's, That's how it's phrased. Okay. Um, in 2006, to celebrate his WWE championship win, the night prior, Edge and Lita had a blank in a famous Raw segment. Had a blank? A blank. What is it? What did they have? Oh, it's a fucking... A nice um, dinner? What is, this, oh, what is this called? Oh, got it. Someone ate that night, let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I had Dante. to. That was a layup. That was an oh, absolute no. layup. Three to one. It's a live sex celebration. Live sex celebration. Correct. The LSC, baby. Mm -hmm. Can't believe they got away with that. Jesus. And they it was like. They ain't doing that anymore. And it was you. like. It's not like it was like quick. I no. interrupted. It was like it was long. A, <laughs> it, was like, it, was a, it was a segment. Yeah, it was, it was a, definitely a segment. A celebration a even. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good right. for them. Number 15. In another famous segment, in the lead up to the WrestleMania 14 match between Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels, okay. Steve Austin would go to face with the special guest enforcer to, ma to the match, which was blank. Right, one. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. All right. Let's go. All right. All right. Wager round? Yes, sir. Wager, 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 wager. What do you have? Six. Six. I have nine. Okay. This one, I think the wager is going to be pretty cheeky here. Yeah, that's fair. I'll do this one. Why not? All right. I have my wager. I do as well. Nervous. On the 25th anniversary of Raw in 2018, it was held in two arenas. One was the Manhattan Center. Oh, oh that's what I was gonna write down. That they used to go used to go to in the 90s, and the other was also in New York. What was the arena? Okay. All right. Time to put our thinking caps on for a second. Is the same arena they held ECW One Night Stand? No. Uh, no, looks the same. That was in Philly. Oh. Similar vibe. It was in New York. You said Sophia. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna. Not at all. I got nothing. I don't. It's, I don't know arena names. New York. I should know this. I know all about New York. Um, I've never been to New York. <laughs> I've never been to the city. I mean, it's gonna be like a famous. That's there's, fucking. There's, there's you know what I mean? one arena, but like. Ah, come on. I wish. I. I. I feel like I. I feel I've like heard I, of I've it. definitely heard of it. Live at the. It's not gonna come to me. No, it's not gonna come I'm to nervous. me. Nervous. I. I like. There's an obvious answer, but like I don't know if that. I'm thinking it's like this. Yeah, it's the small one, the small secondary one. I think is the one that's missing. Manhattan's of no Manhattan's. Is the Manhattan the small one, one the oh, small yeah. one? Mm -hmm. There was only like a thousand people there. If that. No, we're thinking about the bigger one. Manhattan. Oh. No, no, no. Manhattan's the smaller one. Oh, why, why wouldn't that one be the? Because of tickets. Oh yeah, yeah. Interesting. That's why I was gonna write down. That's literally what I was hoping that that was the question. No, we're thinking of the bigger arena, not the smaller Did one. They not have it. <laughs> Do they not just have it then at the... They had it at two places, I guess. I remember at the Manhattan, they had like the DX reunion. And right, right, right. That's right. what I remember. Oh, I was getting them mixed up. That was the FTR. They got beat up and stuff. That was at Manhattan. So it's where the other place was. Where do the Brooklyn Nets play? That... The fuck is the name of that arena? I don't know the name of that arena. I do, but I don't know if that. I, I, that's one of my one of the arenas I'm thinking of. But you know. Oh wait a minute. Yes, I do. I'm a fucking idiot. But there's no way it was whatever. See, I'm not for the sake. I'm not gonna put what you're putting. I'm gonna put my other option because I I want this to be. It. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Here we listen, go. Listen, listen. Here's the thing. Uh, caps on, please. Sorry, um, sorry, it's on me. I, I, we did all that thinking. It's going to be something completely different than what we wrote down. <laughs> Joe Schmoe's yeehaw. Joe Schmoe's <laughs> backyard. Yeah. All, right, all right. Well, Dante, well, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. It's been a doozy of a quiz, to say the least. Happy 30th anniversary. Three, two, one. Madison Square Garden. Oh, oh Madison Square fuck. Garden. What I thought you, you were going to put Barclays play? Center. That's where the Brooklyn Nets I think of the name of it. <laughs> is it the Barclays Center? It's the Barclays Center. No! <laughs> fuck, I didn't put that because of you! Fuck! <laughs> How many did you wager? Oh! oh! We're good. We're good. Jeez, fuck. Jesus. Dude, I had Barclays and Mass Square Garden. You're like, Brooklyn Nets. I'm like, stop, stop it! Stop, stop, stop. Fuck you. Gotta, you. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Madison Square Garden or Barclays. <laughs> Fuck! You've got the Madison Square <laughs> Don't play at the Madison Square. No one plays at the Madison Square Garden. All right, I finished Holy with three. Holy shit. No one, but Knicks don't play the Madison Square Garden. They do play at the Madison okay. Square Garden. Right. Like, no, you're right, you're right. I'm, I'm just all worked up right now. You're, no, you're right. They do play there. <laughs> No uh, one plays there. No, no one plays. Just, it just, it's, it's, it's an empty arena. Just empty. They don't use it. It's just Harry Styles goes there when you go to I got two. I got three. I got three. Wow, that was a quiz, wasn't it? That was a quiz. We that was a definitely lot of a research. quiz. Woo. We had, fuck, Barclays Center, bro. <laughs> what a weird question. Do you think they would have put the more obscure one for the fill in the blank? the normal question yeah. or something like that. Instead, so I mean, it was name the Barclays I'll Center. I'll tell you which what, I, I guess I they couldn't. They threw us off. <laughs> fuck, you know, like, where the Nets play? I'm like, I'll let him take Barclays. I'll take MSG. <laughs> you think I know where the Nets play? That's crazy. <laughs> you did. You said you did. <laughs> you said I, you did. I lied. All right. <laughs> Matthew, I believe, is the one who sent that. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, and if you guys like uh, this video and all of our other videos, make sure to like, subscribe, put on those notification bells so when these videos drop, you get to watch them right away and be a part of the premiere as well. You can listen to our podcast here on YouTube, or you can go on to any streaming platform that has podcasts, Spotify, Apple Music, wherever it may be, listen there. My name's Dante. You can follow me on Twitter, Dante on Deck, Dante Toro slash Dante Toro 11 everywhere else. His name's Dante. You can follow me <laughs> at Raspy Taylor on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, all of that stuff stash club w on twitter and instagram are our new uh accounts and i think i think that's enough plugs for me i don't want to plug anything so. more mm. yeah i think we're good uh, one more for the road one more for the road, more for the road. and stash club till next time peace